Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, CC tired, and we have a cabbage brine here. Yes, sir. Which is a very interesting thing. <laughs> I actually just got to like act, read it, but we're here for the varsity Overwatch team, who's going against the University of Missouri. Mm -hmm. Correct us in the chat if we're wrong. Mizzo. Mizzo. Is it Mizzo? Is it Mizzo? <laughs> we're thinking it's Mi Mizzo or Mizzow. We're Mizzo trying to figure Mizzow. out. We're trying to figure it out. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stick with Mizzo for the moment. Mizzo Esports. Uh, yeah, they're going up against them tonight. And I'm ex should have an interesting game. Yeah, I'm excited. It's been like, how long has it been? A week or two now since the new update came out? Give or take, yeah. Yeah. Um, have you got to play any of it yet? I've <laughs> I've definitely <laughs> uh, I've definitely played a handful of games, and uh, all of them have been terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you what? What role are you? Uh, support. Oh, I'm support also a support man. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful. It, it is <laughs> it's, terrible. It's the worst, it is, actually. <laughs> it is still a dead by daylight simulator. It's it is no bueno. But um, I think that we were talking earlier. We've seen now that some of the meta is like Moira Zen and yeah. Moira Lucio. A whole lot of dive comms. A whole lot of dive comms. So you got like you know monkeys super big some people playing doomfist a lot yeah uh, i've seen a couple dooms i've seen a lot more winstons than dooms but mm. he's still in there as well as uh diva as well diva is a huge pick mainly just like a lot of characters that can like really move around a uh, ball uh, is the main ball one. Is i've crazy. seen a lot of ball which is crazy because i i didn't come from overwatch one i started in overwatch two but all of my friends that did come from overwatch one are like ball's back like he's mad ball is, ball is <laughs> coming from overwatch one ball <laughs> is back. exactly he just comes out and boops you to death uh also, Tracer. Tracer, if you can Tracer, get a really I feel good... like his, every season is a good pick. And now she has that extra 25 health, yeah. which may not seem like a lot, but it is. In the long run. In and the then long the, run, it is. And then the, the, the DPS passive as well. The DPS well. passive, yeah, because now she doesn't even... I mean, she doesn't have to get her health packs. She can just stand in a corner and wait. Yeah. <laughs> she can just wait. Just eviscerate exactly. anything. It's, it's crazy. 
But yeah, it's really interesting seeing the Zen Lucio as a meta because those are actually two of the least healing yeah. output ever. But uh, like you said, it's just dive. You dive in whoever, it's just a team battle at that point. You dive, they dive, whoever gets a pick first, that's kind of how it, it's going to lean towards. Pretty much. I've actually, I've heard that um that Brig Zen actually is a... Uh, I haven't seen really any Brig Zen yet, but I wish I was good at Brig. I just don't understand her. I immediately, am... my my shield breaks, immediately I'm out of health packs. Like... I am a Brig one trick. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> At first, I started out on Moira because my friend was like, you don't even have to aim. And I was like, cool. And you know what? He was right. Yeah. Uh, now I think I'm definitely a Kiri main. Mm. But I haven't seen a Kiri for the first time in forever, everybody. I feel like Kiriko is not meta. She's definitely a good pick, but she's not as good as Zen or Lucio or Moira. For sure. With, with the... Um... Also with the the projectile, oh yeah, uh, the increase. projectile changes. That's crazy. You can hit your shots. You can. Well, that's why I feel like that's a huge reason why Zen is meta because you have the Discord, and then you have the DPS uh, twenty percent healing kick. reduction on that, and then you have his huge projectiles on that. Like Zen's basically just an all around. He's a DPS. He's a tank. He's a support. Like he can go anywhere. He can go anywhere, goes whatever he, he wants. He has his he has his boop too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I believe Lucio's boop also got. An increase got a buff. I think um, it boops you back further now, and you take more damage. Maybe I think that's what it was. I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. Still rooting for the uh, boops leading into stuns the moment that you hit a wall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember whenever when did they like nerf boops? That was that in season eight. I think that was season I, yeah, eight, season seven. I think around there. I think season seven. I remember like they had a they had a whole like list of like how many boops happened within Overwatch. And then they took it away, and it was really sad. But now I'm excited to see that it's back. Yeah. I'm I'm not a Lucia. I can play Zen because you just boot people and Discord and shoot. But I feel like to play Lucio, you have to have a little bit more skill. Oh, um, I don't know if you ever watch Aspen. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, she's a support on. Uh, she streams on Twitch as well. But her Lucio is actually insane. Yeah, but you have to have of... a certain level of ADHD to play Lucio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. But yeah, I'm excited to see what the lineup is. La I know last week they played uh, Ball, Lucio. I didn't see too much of Zen. But mm. we definitely saw the Tracer come out. Uh, some Sojourn. I haven't seen that many Hanzos, actually. Which is very, very nice. Uh, yeah. Not getting just spammed down a yeah. hallway with arrows. Just the log. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he, he's literally shooting logs at people now. It's crazy. It is. And then Soldier is also shooting logs at people, but just from a further distance somehow. <laughs> yeah. Also Sojourn. Sojourn's oh, also... Yeah. Sojourn's uh, a great pick this season, I think. Yeah. Her projectile is absolutely... It can just it, it can just take you out in a second. Pretty much. And then the railgun, you know. The railgun is over. I think you're out of range, and then... Um, I've seen a couple of Sig picks this season as well, which yeah, I think yeah. every season, Sig is just a... You know, Sig's a good all-rounder. He's a good all-rounder, but again, if they're running that dive, then there's not much that he can do, not which kind of sucks. Escape. Yeah. Um, poor Ryan. I'm sorry to all the Ryan mains out there, but it's just not his season. We're, we're rooting for you. <laughs> we're rooting for Next you. Next season will Next be the season, one. <laughs> yeah. Next season, they're going to buff shields. They're going to they're gonna do something with him. You know? I, I pray for the Ryan, Ryan to, Ryan to reemerge <laughs> like a phoenix. Um, I, although Farah got reworked, I haven't seen a lot of her in many yeah. of my games. Especially kind of surprising. with the, uh, the, like, movement, you'd think, like, you know, high mobility. Yeah, the new movement ability is good. So, like, if there is one in your game, she's very hard to get rid of. But I just haven't seen a lot of people pick her. It, again, it's mostly the Tracer, Soldier, Tracer, Soldier, uh, Sombra. Sombra can go even. fast. Sombra, yeah. yeah. Uh... Yeah, no. I think it's just because Tracer has so much mobility. Like she's, I feel like she's always a good pick in every season. Yeah, I th there's, there's one. I believe there's like one of two uh, things that your team can do, and that's either just massive dive yep. or just hardcore poke. Yeah, that's you know. because I remember at the big at the end of last season, Ram 
was the pick. Ram Rush. Ram Rush. Ram yeah. Rush was the meta. And now I don't see much of I mean, I see Ram from time to time because he can kind of be divey, you know, depending on if everybody goes with him. A little bit. But I haven't seen much of Ram since then, so and, and you think that like even like with the uh the slow as well. You yeah, would you think, think that that, you that would, would help. Have... Because you slow somebody and then they get the twenty you discord them, they get the twenty percent healing reduction, they should just be dead. Just they they should just be gone. Yeah. Like eviscerated. But no, I haven't seen much of Ram actually. Yeah, no. Which is shocking. But. but I am excited that Ball's back in meta, but just because I haven't seen much of Ball, like starting in Overwatch 2, like Ball is usually a throw pick besides this yeah. season. I, I've always had grievances against Oh, Ball. I've always hated a Ball I've... player. It could, because it's if the ball's on my team, usually it's it's awful. But the, if the ball's on the other team, he's the best ball he's a on the God -like planet. Player. I literally it's like he's top one hundred. I don't even know why I'm here with him. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it, it's exciting to see what they're gonna run. I I do know that uh, they played a lot of ball last week. Mm. I'm trying to remember if they, besides Tracer, what the DPS was. Uh, oh, May. May. May, yeah. May is a good pick this season as well because her projectile is also just a log coming at your face. I feel like May uh, can get her all very easily as well. Yeah, I know. And then she also has that second life. Kind of like, I feel like her and Tracer, you know? They have that second life they can take. I mean, May can't get out of the situation as quickly, but she can she can get in her With enough cube. maneuverability. Yeah, she can get her little cube, throw a wall up, and get out of danger, which I think is pretty interesting. Yeah, no. survivability I'm, is the game. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, at this point, survivability is the game. You have to play somebody who can get out, which, is again, is why it's so crazy that Zen is meta. Yeah. Because he doesn't have very much mobility, unless you pop your trance to get out of a situation, and then you get yelled at by your team. <laughs> Another character that is being seen played is uh, Baptiste. Oh yeah, Baptiste, Baptiste is, is a huge one this season. It's just because his healing output is absolutely insane. It's not, like it's he, always been crazy. It's always been crazy, and even with the twenty percent reduction, it's still like he can, he can still just heal. It's not as much, but it's way more than Kiriko can. It's way more than Moira can. It's way more than Brig can. So I feel like in that sense, you could run that dive comp and then just have a Baptiste in the back lines, like you know, healing from afar. And then if anything goes wrong. You know, pop e more, pop, pop e more, the, the pop, burst. pop your shift. Yeah, no. Jump away. Jump like, away. He has a lot of he has a lot of things that can get him out of a. He has three health bars. If we're being honest. Yeah. <laughs> and is, an escape option. And an, which yeah, is and an nutty. escape option. <laughs> no, it's always crazy whenever I'm trying to fight a Baptiste and he goes up in the air and I'm like, I can't find him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just the gold mentality talking, but I'm like, oh, he disappeared. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's what happened. Yeah, no, but that I. I and I'm curious on what we're gonna play, but not only that, but what the enemy is going to play. That's true. I, I wonder, wonder if they. I wonder if they've been practicing and seeing what the new meta is. I'm also wondering because I. Oh, I think yeah, we're. First I think we're about to head into the game. Yeah. Actually, first so, game. Let's get it. I can't wait to see the lineups from both teams. I because I know that Happy from SSU um, is a huge ball fan he is a ball fanatic he's a ball fanatic i last week when we interviewed him he was excited that ball was back and here we go all right let's see it oh Lee Zhang, okay Lee Zhang oh they took the lunar new year away so sad so unfortunate all right check out these lineups We got the Ramatra we pick got, by we Hop get the and by Happy. Pick. And we, ha oh, we have the Winston pick. Oh, sorry. Winston, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have the Winston pick from uh, Missouri as well. Mizzo. Also, a curious pick with Symmetra. I wonder if they're going to do a little, a little sneaky TP, maybe? This is the map to play Symmetra on. They may just TP, go back into spawn and switch, but... If there's any map to play Symmetra on, I feel like it's this one. Definitely, definitely. You just set up your turrets and wait for it. It's like a little death trap. It's the the car wash. Alright. Getting into Getting it. Getting right into it. Oh, we see that uh, Missouri's pick has a tracer pick as well. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, no. Speaking of the Miz... Ooh. Oh, Ready down on SSU first. Really unfortunate. And now the flank Rascal with Tracer. They could still win it. Oh. All Happy can do is just yeah. They, well, they can come back from. They this. can that definitely was, come was back a, from that was a this. Quick cap by Missouri. Making the tracer swamp. 
See, we're sticking. We're oh, swapping we're the ball. <laughs> we're swapping the ball. Here it is. We have the... I don't know why you picked Ram in the first place. I knew that ball was going to be it in the end. Also, the somber pick with uh, Smitty. The Somber pick is good against the Winston, you know, they they jump in, use their bubble, and you think they have their jump back, and they don't. Mm -hmm. You can just easily hack them, and they can't get away. Then it don't. It's, it's nice to see the Echo pick as well. I think Echo's such a strong character in any season. Found a doubt. Both DPS immediately getting picked, unfortunately, in the team fight. Does Moira? Nope. That, I see, the, see Echo is, the Echo is putting in work. Birds. Zephyr was able to get away, thankfully. Coming up, uh, it's looking about three ults from the for Mizzo, and we're only looking at about beat for Shawnee, unfortunately. Uh, Shawnee almost has pulse as well. Okay, that's true. Thirty percent. You has used all three of their ults that they had stored up. Pushing into spawn. Down as well. Alt, dump, alt dumping is for sure a strat, but it is, they're going to be lacking gonna, those it's resources. It's going to hurt them in the, in the long run. Without a doubt. We do see the Moira pick as well from SSU, which we were talking about earlier. Mm, coalescence is almost up as well, so they're going to be able to really push in. The Winston Tracer from Missouri is just... It's, it's just it's so really, Ooh, the pick on the Echo! Let's see if they can make something out of this. The Lucio is looking really low. The pulse on Winston. He popped primal. Echo from our team. The Zephyr. Okay, SSU is coming back here. I believe. There goes both of the supports. They're gonna have to play really safe here. Let's see here, Happy somehow surviving his Diva. Ooh, and Missouri popped beat. Okay, Zephyr take Counter Zephyr beat? tries to salt point with B, but, but booped into the boop. pit. See, the boop is strong this season. The boop is very Sneak. strong. Ooh, uh, Dubesh. Oh. Yikes! All right. They were close a few times trying to take capture the point back, but a they definitely got a handful of good, real, uh, really good picks, but oh, just yeah. that needed that traction to stay on yeah. point. But it is only the first round in. I'm sure that anything can happen. Anything can happen. I wonder if they're going to keep with the Winston Tracer pick on this map as well. Mm. I don't know. I'm not too sure about Winston on this map. It seems a little too enclosed for him to get out quickly. But we do see them switch to May actually, which we were also talking about earlier. And, and the switch May. to Kiriko. Z Smitty on Echo and the switch to Kiriko on both teams. All switch to Ram. Ooh. Happy as well. Okay, this is gonna be. Oh, I love a good almost Ram a match, mirror right? comp. Almost a mirror comp. Exactly. I love a good Ram, Ram match. It's so fun. And both of the teams swapping to Baptiste as well. Oh, we actually have a junk junk rat pick. A junk rat. Which his projectile pick. this season is actually insane. So in these small corridors like this could really work out for them. Let's see where the play's coming from. Closing off, vying for the side room. Abby's looking pretty again, low. The kill on Zephyr, unfortunately. Uh, they still have the Baptiste, which again has that healing output. Crazy heal. The Crazy Emor saving output. both the tank and him. Basculus, uh, both DPS for SSU down. I think SSU All might up. lose the first first team fight here. Yeah. They'll just have to regroup and try it again. I'm excited to see some uh, some nutty picks by uh, Battle uh, Basilisk. Basilisk on Sojourn, yeah, I think Sojourn's a good pick here. She can create space. She can create space with her. Uh, sorry, Su her orb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> super good engage, super good disengage. Ooh. Let's see here the kill on the, the, tank, kill on the tank and the support. The Lucio, they can definitely take point back from this. Looking low on the Baptiste as well. They get the Baptiste. Both supports on our team has gone down, however. The May's been cornered. The May's also picked. I'm wondering if SSU's supports can get back in time by the time they re the other supports hit point. Oh, we see Missouri pop his ult. Outstanding pick by Basilisk. And a counter ult by Happy happening as well. See if they can't just secure the point for themselves. 
Shawnee looking really low. Yeah, Shawnee with no supports there is a little rough. But again, with Ram, you have to be that. You have to be very aggressive to get. Without a doubt. To do damage, get kills. Also, let's take a look at ultimates. Shawnee with almost four ultimates up right That's now. That's true. Uh, Missouri, I think, will be coming up with three. They'll have. Oh, they popped window, and each may pop their freeze as well. We get beat from Missouri. We get beat from. Francois? Get, yeah, beat from Zephyr. Oh, that was hard to keep up with. That was a lot of ults <laughs> that happened. Everyone ulted. Everyone ulted. However, in the entire schism of it all, Basilis still is going to have overcharge, and we still have window up. We still have window and overcharge, which is a great combination. However, we will have to watch out for Gambit with Tyre, which is coming up right now. No supports out. Happy at 1 HP. See? Ah, that's unfortunate. The, over, uh, the overclock pa pop. Basilis unfortunately falling with no picks. Francois looking really low, but manages to survive through the long of it. Ooh, Zephyr gets a pick on Gambit from Missouri. That's a good pick. Ooh, that's a pick from Lucio? Hold on. Maybe? Wait a minute. Is it happening? The, the boop on the leg. Zephyr's going crazy. Oh, the boop was it in this season. It's back. Oh, they we actually see a Reaper pick from Missouri here as well. Ooh. Basilisk taking care of Francois. And the cap Shani from Shani. Is able to cap at 99 to what they had 30. Okay, I believe that they can hold this. They they're can't they're bring having it a back. couple walls come up here. Okay. Gambit unfortunately pick on dying. Gambit. Ooh, pick on the clairvoyant as well. Here comes Shawnee's comeback. Shawnee's being very aggressive here, which I think is necessary. Without a doubt, so long as they watch all of their entrances, this could lead to a very firm foothold. Zephyr playing it smart, watching that angle. Shawnee's about to come up on two alts here. They also have I think Missouri's, feet. Missouri's about to have three, actually. Basilisk unfortunately dying bef or, yeah, before getting that beat. We see Freeze come out. Happy unfortunately we see falling. We see Freeze come out as well. Zephyr just getting caught by that Freeze. Basilisk can make it back in time. He might be able to help. Maybe stall point. Maybe no, they're just all over him. Even w even if they managed to hold, Francois would still have that beat to uh, hold yeah. so much longer. A rocky game one, but I'm sure that the next one's gonna be. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a comeback. Mazal takes the first win, uh, so we oh oh and one at the moment. But th there were some really good fights in there. There was outstanding fights mm -hmm. in there. Uh, Zephyr with the outstanding with, boobs. With the boobs. Again, this echo pick is yeah backstab, but absolutely that crosshair is crazy. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Wild crosshair. Wild crosshair. <laughs> I mean, if it if it helps, it helps, you know. I suppose so. Uh, I sometimes if you do, I know people say it doesn't help, but I think it does. Have it, you ever seen the widows when they make a a box? Just like the giant square. Yeah, the giant square. I mean. Maybe it, maybe it's a maybe it's, it's a, a phenomenon. It's, it's a mental thing. Maybe it's a mental it's, thing. It's a mental. The thing. more obnoxious your, yeah, exactly. your crosshair you is, the better. That way. Little but, meta tip for everyone. <laughs> uh, I, we were talking about the meta, and I didn't see much of it that was happening. Yeah. There, besides, again, the Lucio pick. But I feel like Lucio is a great pick every I'm season. I'm surprised that we didn't see a Zen pick. If I'm, I'm gonna be real, I'm surprised we didn't see a Zen pick, specifically against the Ram. Yeah. You know, you Discord a Ram and he can't run away, then it's it's pretty much over for them. But apparently, Ram is still meta. I mean, we saw it there. The the Ram v Ram was happening, and they were getting some pretty good fights in. Crazy fights, and also the survivability of like both teams. Oh yeah, they, with like... with the with the Lucio Baptiste picks. Mm -hmm. Again, Baptiste has three uh, health bars of his own. And then he so. just has the healing output of, I feel like, two supports and one. It's actually crazy. Yeah, no. And, and, you know, tacking that on top of the, tacking that on top of the Lucio speed or, you know, the... Lucio speed gets you out of really tough situations, and the Baptiste can be there to heal you back up from that as well. Without a doubt. Yeah. Um, 
I will take a bet that we're going to see King's Row from SSU. That seems to be a fan favorite. That is the... <laughs> Scrim's Row, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that seems to be a fan favorite. Yeah, I know. Um, which, to be fair, I think King's Row is probably one of the more uh, well-rounded push maps. It's, it's one of the it's one of the staples. Yeah, it's one of the games. staples. It's definitely better than Gibraltar. Without a doubt. Gibraltar is very defense sided. You know, mm. it's really hard to push through that first point. It's I think it's hard to push through all the points if I'm being honest while you're attacking. But Fair. I think with King's Row it kind of equals out. It gives everybody a good chance on both sides. I've always had some uh, trouble with um uh not Hollywood. What's the other uh... Eichenwald? Not Eichenwald, the uh, the other American map. I forget what it was, oh, uh, gosh. What it was called. Right, off, <laughs> what right off the top of my head. What does it look like? <laughs> it, it's the uh, like first point has the uh, the fire engine. Uh, oh, Midtown. Midtown, yes. yeah. Midtown. I've always had trouble. It's always been a really yeah. tricky situation pushing through that first choke point. Yeah, the first choke point there is a little rough as well. I feel like after that it eases up a little bit Without because you doubt. can both take that high ground in the middle. Um, but yeah, King's Row I feel is just the the more uh well-rounded map to pick mm -hmm. which is probably why we see it every week even last week uh we saw it from uh, what did i play last week sorry <laughs> we i saw wasn't it, here we, saw it, we saw it from the the team last week as well but if they do go king's row i'm wondering what they'll pick then i wonder if it'll still be that ram v ram matchup or definitely i definitely wager seeing uh like ball plays I'm not too sure about oh, ball no. plays. I feel like there's too many corners for a ball to get stuck in, you know? For sure. He, but he I, gets pressured. I feel like there's a lot of really long That's like, also well. He can just speed out of there. And then especially on, like, first point, the, the like, statue in the middle. That's just that's very true. That's very wipes true. Wipes straight on the point. I was really surprised we didn't see more ball play on uh, the first map of Lijong because you... That's just free boops. <laughs> Without it, yeah. Free, free boops off those off both the bridges and the side as well. And then you can just full hold that. Oh center yeah, you, point. you could you it's... could definitely hold the center point for a very long time. Just people can't get a hold of you if you're just spinning around constantly. <laughs> exactly. That's, a, that's something that I did notice that a lot of people uh, a lot of people don't really know how to shoot ball. If that's just spinning. it's true. It's very true. And even then, if he spins and you get him half, he presses his E. He's lo no longer half. Yeah. He has another at least five six seconds. Almost at full health. It's kind of crazy. And then even if you do get him below that like shield, he can just, he can run just away. sprint away he, he can and then run he away. comes right back. He can run away, get a health back, and get back in time before overtime hits. Like it's actually crazy. It is It's very insane. It's something. But yeah, I'm excited to see what the matchup will be. Let me let me Oh, oh King King Drow. Drow. here we go. <laughs> Can't wait to see the matchup now. See, we got was it Shawnee on defense was looking like, or no Shawnee on attack? What am I talking about? Is it? I think so. No. Is, I, eh? uh, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. I think Shawnee's on attack here. Kickstarter is also yeah. just a beautiful map. Yeah, no, Shawnee's on so. the attack. So we might. I might I'm see feeling a like might see a diva. Could might see, see a diva. Oh, we're seeing Sig from, uh, Sig and Widow from Missouri. Ooh. Oh, defense. You know, Widow making Sig? the swap. Yeah. To, uh, making the swap to May. Oh, okay. But we do see the Ramatra pick from Happy, which I think is a really good matchup against the Sigma if you can get his face. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. If you can yeah. get a Sigma's face, or even to his back line, there's he can't move that quickly. He doesn't really have too many movement abilities, so if you can try to start picking off his backline, that would probably be best. Yeah, no, he's the Sigma's really gonna have to rely on the Lucio in order to get him out. Absolutely. Uh, a lot of tricky situations if they just dive on him. But let's see how the first engage comes about. As we can see here, Shawnee just running in again with the aggressiveness. You have to do that with Ram. Going Almost pulling a flank here as well. Happy gets booped down. Happy separated. Bas oh, Basilisk, Basilisk gets picked off. Happy stuck in a corner. Do that's with a Emor. Really bad situation. But he is staying alive. So, oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he lived for a pretty long. He time. lived for a really long time. If everybody else could get out safely, that would be best. Zephyr still manages to escape, but unfortunately, a lot of people just fell. 
We lost the other support and both DPS, so that'll that's definitely going to take some time for everybody to respawn and group back up. Oh, Zephyr getting picked off as well. That's really unfortunate. They just need to they need to find them supports and just manage to I've never seen anybody really hold up top there like Missouri's doing. It's a very interesting strategy that they have going on. I feel like Happy's being a little too aggressive for what his team can come up. The Sig Gravitic pops block. In the vault. Ooh, and the triple save. Okay, they got a pick on it got the on pick back on the Sojourn. From Window is also popped from Tommy. Zephyr does have beat up. Both DPS have been picked off from SSU, but they still have a fighting chance here. They have both supports and the tank. Mm. Mm, that bet's going down, as well as Zephyr. They're definitely going to have to fall back and regroup here. They do get the Reaper pick, they which do is get the really Reaper handy. Pick, which is nice. And taking a look at ults, uh, they're definitely going to have to worry about that... Um, that death blossom coming yeah, in. Yeah, especially when they're they're holding that high ground from the side, kind of kind of trying to be a little sneaky. With how they're how sneaky they're playing, I'd, yeah. I'd wager they need to worry. Uh, the pick on this Sigma falls. Oh, we see the the soldier in one v one. Followed up by Ooh. Zephyr. Very outstanding play. Zephyr's also following up on the Baptiste here. Oh, Ooh, the death blossom comes come out. out. Oh, no picks no, from no it. Picks? That's actually insane. And Shawnee with a very smooth capture. Now all that's left is pushing it to that final point. We see Baptiste staying on cart, Ooh, but I don't know if that's... Sigma if that's getting the, cut oh, off. Oh, wow. Shawnee's coming Happy's up. Happy's definitely, with, yep. Popping that for surviving. Uh, which is understandable. He ooh. Oof, that is I was about to say, if he can live this, he can get his ult back very easily with the damage that he's doing. Without a doubt. We see Dot Bet's just trying to push the car as far as he can, which is very understandable. Basilisk unfortunately getting picked by uh, Backstab Bud, I believe. We still have three. Hoping that Zephyr doesn't get caught up in anything. Oh. Let me tell you. That that um that soldier can sojourn. hit their right clicks. That that was actually insane. We see them taking multiple angles here too from Missouri. I mean, which is good. On this point, you really need to hold those higher angles. I feel like it's a uh, dual-edged sword. You get a yeah. bunch of angles, but then you're all split up just in case you get dove. The overclock coming out from backstab, bud. But the freeze overclock in the overclock also coming out from Basculus, I believe. Oh, yep. and Basculus. Dying. Oh, the Sigma from Missouri down as well. Hopefully Smitty can outlive this. This is the burn from the ash. He managed to make it out. Dot bets picked as well. Happy getting I the pick they, on Gambit. I believe they can win this. I think that if they play it safe, they can... Yeah, if they play, they it, can... If they play it safely, they're all just kind of really low. Oof. You see Zephyr get picked. However, Tommy Their Lucio's Solani also in the back line, just waiting. Stop Ooh, it, are they spawn camping? Is that what's happening? Ooh. Kind of seems like it. Very grimy. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of... Oh, Basculus with the kill on Lucio. Yeah, no. I feel like... Uh, Basculus I feel like... having to come back <laughs> to yeah. help Dot Bets. The it's going to cost them a little coming time, from but... Clairvoyant. Not getting anyone. I wonder why he popped. Yeah, where did he just use flux? He did use flux. I wonder if he. I wonder if somebody was trying to back up or something. Maybe, Maybe. that that could have been it actually. Zephyr seems like. Yeah, the we see Zephyr trying to back up, I believe, but they 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 spot him. He might just be doing that to try to create some space for his team as well. A little bit of a distraction. Well, yeah. I, I can definitely see the uh, the similarities. You see the beat them out from Zephyr as well. The window from Missouri. See what they can get from Ooh. it. Zephyr almost Every died. Ooh. Ooh. I was about to say, everybody seemed to live it. But both DPS from SSU Can't have been picked as well as Happy. Zephyr's just trying to get him and Dot Bets out of there. Oof, Dot Bets unfortunately losing his life. However, Zephyr is still on his shenanigans <laughs> and he's gonna try and back cap, probably. 
I think, again, he's trying to create that distraction so his team can move in a little bit. Let's see what Shawnee can do. 40 seconds on the clock. Shawnee... The oh, overclock. We... Ooh, but blocked. Great block. Great wall by Smitty. Oh, we see Zephyr is going for the back cap, actually. But detected by Tommy Salami. Yes. Oh, and Zephyr's, and Zephyr's out by Tommy. Shawnee may be able to get Annihilation here and try to push with that, but again, only 15 seconds left on the clock. They're going to have to make that push here and now if they want to try and take it. It has to happen now. S Smitty coming out with a freeze. He now has Annihilation. There we go. He pops it. Shawnee They touching. have to make sure they stay on the cart here. We see Sig come out with Flux, which... We got sick. Ooh, we got and that is a team beat. wipe from Missouri. That is that's un really unfortunate. That's but really unfortunate. For SSU. Play. I believe SSU can come back with just just as well as a defense. For sure, for sure. I'm surprised with the um, the very firm set team picks as well. Yeah, I did, we didn't see any changes there at all. I wonder if we're going to be getting a new uh, a different comp or if we're going to be seeing the same lineup from both teams. Again, a SIG on defense, I think, is always a great decision. Because we saw a few changes uh, from Missouri. We saw the Ash pick. What else? Was that the only thing we, we saw? Um, we did see an Ash pick uh, coming in from, uh, who was it? From Gambit. Yeah. Uh, and he, he was definitely putting in uh, He was definitely work. putting a lot of pressure on uh, SSU. Let's see here. The Widow pick coming from Backstab Bud. Uh I remember they tried to... Uh, they, they tried, tried to, to Widow pick at first and then ended up switching, but they might stick with it this time just to see if they can get an early pick. You know, the top... <laughs> That's the, the top first time that I've seen that spray. <laughs> <laughs> if you can get, a, if you can get a, a quick pick from the top window of attack... Are we seeing an Alari pick, actually? Ooh, I haven't seen Alari yeah, very much this season at all. I feel like that's... a pretty risky play. It is a risky play, but going back to the Ash pick, I'm now wondering... If you set somebody on fire with your dynamite, does that count for the 20% I healing reduction? I believe it does. Because if so, Ash is probably feeling really, really good this season. We're seeing the Reaper pick from Gambit. And it's looking like the same comp coming up from Shawnee. Yep, they're sticking with the, the Ram May Sojourn. Taking that super high ground. See how Shawnee plays this. It's so interesting seeing the Alari from Missouri. Just because you don't see much of her. Reaper oh, on the flank up. as well. Let's see, we're waiting for the first that pick. Oh, oh, happy okay, against happy, Francois. Happy against Francois. However, her healing pylon is still there, which can make or break a game in some situations. We see Zephyr get picked, as well as Basculus. Let's see, they still do happy have the going Baptiste after the widow. There we go. The Emor field coming out from Dot Bats. Let's see if he can save Happy. Oh, Dot loses Bats is his down. life. Zephyr trying his best to get back to point in time. Be able to touch point. Smitty is also picked off though. But unfortunately, without that team support, he can only hold point support. for so long. We see, uh, we see they're sticking with the Widow pick, which is interesting. I think this is a great Widow map. For sure. But oh, we see Smitty actually changing to Echo, probably to hopefully uh, sneak up on the Widow. That's I've, what. That's my thoughts. I've seen, I've seen uh, Smitty play Echo, and yeah. let me tell you, he is one heck of a. Basilisk with the player. pick actually against the Widow. Well, what's nice with Echo is that I don't think you can hear her footsteps, so she's very. She can very much sneak up behind somebody and get an easy pick. You know, especially against that Widowmaker, mm -hmm. which is probably why they swapped Echo in the first place. I also really like the angles that Shawnee's holding here. Mm. Let's see. They haven't gotten past the first choke point, however, so the Shawnee still has a very viable hold. The window coming up from Tommy Salami. Ooh! Dot Bets gets picked. The the window headshot. There's not there's not much you can do there really. We also see Smitty getting uh, picked off as well. Let's see if Zephyr can. Basculus. Hopefully, hopefully, mm, hopefully and, Happy can at least make it out. Yeah, Missouri so is looking reset. very nice. We'll have to reset completely here. Ooh, Happy is found. 
see. and everything is coming at him, having to pop Annihilation to get out of there. But unfortunately, that Widowmaker pick. Everybody just seemed to be getting up on Happy there. Sure. We see... Oh, we see Gambit pop his Blossom, actually, getting a pick on Zephyr. And I, that Widow is... The Widow there. pick is actually popping off. Yeah, and... Now, Shawnee does have three ultimates right now. I would not blame them if they. I just really don't think just they have the time everything. to get back to point. Well, they're gonna have to do something. Okay, we see Beat, beat coming out from Zephyr, Zephyr, but just, just shy of touching. Just shy. We are now 0 and 2 with Mizal in the lead. It's really unfortunate. However, I still do have trust in. I do our have team. trust in Shawnee. I. I now, Flashpoint is new to everybody, so... Yeah. Again, I'm excited to see where they're going to go with that, and what map they're going to pick. We've seen a lot of... We've seen only Servasa this season picked from um, all teams, actually. Nobody has seemed to pick... What is it? New uh, Junk City? Yeah, New Junk City. Yeah, nobody has seemed to pick New Junk City, which I... I love New Junk City. Do you really? I love New Junk Ugh. City. It's, it's, <laughs> don't give me that look. <laughs> I, I love New Junk City. And you I do? do? Not... As a support player, you love New Junk I, City? That's crazy. Here, here's, my, here's my point of view, right? It's it's not so much as like playing in it, so much as how beautiful the map is. I love the well, layout. Well, like you said about map. a lot of maps, but try playing on New Junk City is actually just probably it's it's my least favorite map out of all of them. Really? Like not just Flashpoint map. Just in general. Just in general, it's actually it's Gibraltar and then New Junk City. I just mm. I just hate Gibraltar as well. But is that is that coursing through uh, both Overwatch? Well, no, you were you joined I'm only in Overwatch, in, uh, two. Overwatch two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so right, I've yeah. never got to see any of the Overwatch one maps. Man, you you did not know Assault. That was <laughs> folks out there who played Overwatch one. They know Assault. That was one heck of a. You thought that trying to catch. You thought that trying to go through the the first choke point on push maps were bad. Assault was doing that, but. Twice it was terrible. What was uh? What was Hanamura? What Hanamura was a uh? It was a uh, assault map. Oh okay. Is that like two CP? Two CP. Or... Oh okay, 2CP. okay, okay. Yeah, I've yeah, never yeah. heard it called assault before. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, have you heard that they're trying? I think that they're coming out next season or the season after. Uh, five CP. Have you heard five about that? Five CP. Five CP. I've not heard. Yeah. About that. Um, I've heard a lot about it actually. Uh, I'd be interested again just because I never got to experience two CP, which. I hear from people they either liked it or they absolutely hated it. There's yeah. no in between. It was a very like Yeah, it was very like there there's no middle ground. Like it's okay. Like it's either very liked or very hated. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, Sarvasa. Sarvasa, which again I think is the 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 best pick out of the, the two flashpoint maps. And I'm hoping that we see some more flashpoint maps in the future as well. For sure. I wonder what the lineup's going to look like. I did see Clairvoyant uh, for a split second there going ball, which is probably the smart decision This, there. Yeah, this isn't a bad ball map at all. There's a lot of mobility. There's a lot of places you can um, go to if you're in danger. Whole lot of health packs. Whole lot of health packs. You will never not there's be a below half There's health. a few places where you can boot people Ooh, off. Not at this first point, pick. Though. Happy with the ball pick, however. Happy with the ball pick. We'll see if he can uh, make it work this time. We also see that Fire Raptor got put in the game. Let's go, Raptor. Woo! Let's go, Fire Raptor. Uh, and we see the immediate soldier and pick from him as well. Mm. Which, again, I don't think you can go wrong with. Now, Happy might... Yeah, no. Um, the Tracer pick from both teams... I cannot... Ooh, Dotbet's going Moira. First, Okay, uh... so we see the, the Moira-Lucio uh, comp here. Mm -hmm. We also see Tommy Salami with the Kiriko, and that's the first of Kiriko that I think that we've seen this series. I believe so. And I believe this is the first time we've seen uh, Moira being played as well. Ooh, Vasilis. Oh, Gambit with the Vasilis double right Zephyr off the get-go. Vasilis and Zephyr both get picked off, as well as Fire Raptor. Dot best doesn't seem like he's in the best situation either. See yeah, move. getting picked off as well. Bleed. Let's see here. See the We're seeing Diva the switch swap. with Happy to Diva. I f Diva into Winston. I'm not too sure about that. Also, Fire Raptor going Reaper. Uh, Reaper into Winston is a very good pick. Very you, good. If Tank you can, melters. Yeah. 
It seems as if, uh, oh, Fire Raptor getting picked off again. But it seems as if his Happy's going for the more uh, defensive D.Va play, trying mm. to DM his teammates. Basculus picked off Gambit, but we got Zephyr picked off as well on our side. Let's see, the unfortunate D-Mech. Happy getting d mech here, and Dotbed's getting picked off as well, and Basculus. As well as Happy. They just seem to be rolling through SSU at the moment, but hopefully we can make some changes that can uh, counter that. I think it bundle up. I wouldn't mind seeing a Winston versus Winston matchup here. That would that would be so. I I think that would be a pretty pretty good fight. Well, let's see. Going on 90. Let's see if Shawnee can get a touch. I'm not sure that they're. I believe be the only there, one that no. could do it would be Zephyr or Basculus, and the point is already taken. The pick by on Jeremy. Gambit. Oh yes, pick on Gambit by Fire Raptor here. And we see Clairvoyant has popped his Primal as well. Which I'm not sure if he's going to be able to secure a pick off that. Yeah, no. oh, oh, he's jumping on Raptor? Oh, jumping away. You know, that's that's the, that's the what I would do as well. Whenever a Reaper gets close to a Winston, I would also just jump go. away. However, uh, Shawnee State with all five ultimates uh, coming into this next fight. See Kitsune Rush being thrown See if we can get out. A pick here from Happy's bomb. Ah, uh, Fire Raptor picked off, as well as Zephyr. Oof, no picks. Which again, they can come back with at least three alts and try to take point back. Which they wholeheartedly could with the with the beat. They could definitely just rush they could in there. Beat and blossom. I feel like just making sure that Winston doesn't have his bubble mm. would definitely be devastating. get some sort of pick. Tracer no recall there. Hopefully, uh, Fire Raptor and Basculus can maybe get a pick. Let's see it. Everyone folding. We see, see the Death Blossom coming up by Gambit. By Gambit, not a. Ooh, Gambit picking off Fire Raptor, not with the Blossom. Gambit getting picked off as well, as well as Zephyr on SSU. Okay. Let's this see. this is a fair fight. They, I, winning I, the tracer I feel won. like they could possibly go in from this. For sure. They still do have beat for the engage. They still do have beat and blossom. If Fire Raptor can get them grouped up somewhere, then he could definitely get, get a few picks from Ooh, the, oh, the we see the cast pick. Oh, you call him McCree, I call him Cass. <laughs> I'm from Overwatch One, I'm That's sorry. That's true, it's true. The the, the cast pick uh from Missouri. Fire Raptor gets picked off by Gambit as well. And there goes Happy and Zephyr down with him. Basculus just trying to blink for his life at the moment. Shani was able to get 30% on that point. But again, they haven't used Beat and Blossom, so I'm wondering when that's going to come out. Yeah, there just hasn't been a good opportunity to Blossom yet. Mm. Everybody's very... Uh, not together. They're in different corners of the point. They're they're not grouped up very well. They will, however, have Pulse Bomb, which hopefully they'll be able to get you a... You see Katsune uh, come out from Tommy here. Okay. It is overtime, so I think all the alts are going to come out trying to all get a the pick. The double from Happy. The double from Happy. Let's see. Clairvoyant falling Clairvoyant as well. Clairvoyant down as well. And Tommy the team Salami. wipe. Yep, team wipe from Shawnee State. They did have to use two alts, which two isn't. Alts, yeah. It's not too bad. They can they can definitely hold point here for a little bit. That's still profit. That's still profit. It's looking like Missouri only is going to have uh, beat going into the next fight. So beat and possibly beat. high noon. Yeah. However, I'm not sure that uh, in that team fight, high noon's going to be uh, you know, especially in the team fight, unless like yeah, I don't Cass know. If, I don't know if high noon will be. Oh, we see Zephyr hindered here. Ooh, Ooh, Zephyr and Fire Raptor. High Noon coming out. No picks from the High Noon, but... Basilisks. I don't think anybody can touch... Oh, a happy touching point, trying to just fight for his life. He is down both of his supports, though, which is a little rough for him. Let's see. It looks like Missouri is going to take this point as well, and Zephyr just heading to the next point. There is something you that Zephyr can't do. He uh, is going, an escape artist. You see Fire Raptor with the Cassidy pick as well. Let's 
see the JQ swap for Happy. I like that. I like it's it's a little more aggressive than Diva. Mm -hmm. Um, she can definitely get in there more, especially with her shout. And also the the, the immense amount of survivability. Oh yeah, that Junker J Queen has. Uh, JQ has a ton of survivability. Let's see, fighting in Zephyr. Zephyr gets, gets picked losing. off immediately, and the pulse bomb picks off Raptor as well. Let's see, happy unfortunately. Happy. Basilis is still able to poke around a little bit. Not sure how much longer he's wanting to stay there. If Are... Fire Raptor could hit a hinder on uh, Missouri's tracer, it could lead to a pick. But sure. mm, Tommy Salami catching. getting a pick on Basilis here. Oh, and the the B M Winston. B M Winston just sitting on point, holding Primal. He knows. He's trusting his teammates here. See. Okay, the Gambit pick, falling. pick on Gambit. Pick on Salami? I saw a boop there. Did she get out of it? I believe she did. I believe, I believe so. A uh, Basilisk going down. Francois falling. Let's see, Basilisk managing to bring Okay, and then back. we have Clairvoyant popping his primal here after holding it for so long. And he does get the pick on Happy here. Fire As, and they also get the pick on Raptor. Let's see. Zephyr Dot could bed. still Zephyr's escape. Trying. Zephyr's trying to get out of there. I'm not sure if he can, though, with the Tracer and Winston on him. And they're at 90%. I'm not too sure. Yeah. Not too sure that uh, Shawnee can come back here in touch point. The Tracer falling as well. Yeah. That is really unfortunate. And that is game 03 Mi Missouri. Uh, there is definitely some good fights there. There was outsta there Throughout was some, the entirety of it, there was some outstanding fights. There were some outstanding fights. And backstabbed, I believe, getting the third play of the game. Uh, uh, I think I you're right. So. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Really putting just, in the work. He seems to be great on everything he plays. It was Echo and now Tracer. And uh, then I think... I believe there was a, uh, a, a Sojourn. It was Sojourn. Sojourn, yes, yeah. you're right. That was All right, well, that... Crazy game. That ends the series for tonight. Um... I believe we're going to have a small break and we might be doing some interviews. It really just depends. Yeah. But we will be right back with you guys. For sure, for sure. The reason I came to Shawnee is because I was looking for schools in the area and they had game programming and I thought, well, I like the game. <laughs> I'm not much of a theory learner. <laughs> I need to do it. I need to make mistakes and learn from them. It really is designed around what you're interested in. My area of interest was traumatic brain injury from getting my bachelor's to master's and then coming back to get my doctorate after nine and a half years of clinical practice. Everything that I learned, I was able to take it to the clinic and apply it that day. Getting a degree here at Shawnee State, especially one like engineering, it's such a wide field. You have so many options. The good thing about the plastics program is you could go into many different work fields like manufacturing, robotics, design. I was very interested in game engineering and Shawnee State was top rated. So I thought it would be a lot of fun and it just wasn't for me and I thought I like tech stuff. I'm good at it. They have a tech program here so I switched. The degree itself is broad enough that I could do a lot of different things in the industry and narrow enough to where I could specialize in something once I graduate. I liked Shawnee because there was, you know, the smaller class ratios, more interaction with the teachers. You can ask for help and they can give it to you right away. We had smaller lab groups, so with so many different machines, you really get that all-around experience. The department as a whole does a great job of trying to stay um, up to date with the latest, um, you know, trends, technologies, new developments that students will immediately uh, reap the benefits of when they enter the workforce. It's a lot of practical learning that we'll be able to use. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one with professors as well. felt very fortunate to have a handful of professors that I was really close to and you know, took a personal interest and in, set me up for success in my career. For people that have been in our shoes, they don't want to see any of us fail. 
SAMC and King Sauters both offer intern programs so that we can start working at those hospitals while we're in the program. I don't feel like Shawnee State's goal was to prepare me for getting into medical school. They wanted to prepare me to excel in medical school. I was able to actually be an intern and finish school at the same time. They helped me work around my schedule and once upon graduation I was hired on full time. It is possible to be able to still work and go back to school to further your career. I got a job at Honda, the R&D plant in Raymond. My friends that graduated, they've been able to find engineering jobs right out of school. I love it at Shawnee. It's given me my best friends. It's given me the best couple years of my life. It was just a really good experience being close to home, but still at what you know I consider high quality university. It's not a community college, it just happens to be the college of the community. You know, you get the benefits that a big university offers. I feel like I am who I am today because of Shawnee State. The sky's the limit, it really is. Shawnee State University. Find your future. Find you. Hey folks, we are back with our tank player, Happy I'm here. back again. <laughs> back again. This is my third interview. <laughs> uh, so happy. Uh, some games, huh? To be honest, I'm really proud of what we got done. There For was sure. four top 500s and one of their DPSs ended in the top 100. <laughs> so the fact that we got a point on them at all... That's pretty pretty, proud of I would say that that is a win. So yeah. win in our books. We got pretty good vods to look over now because we we scrim against like uh, we're all basically masters except for our two supports who are sitting in t touching top five hundred every now and then. For sure. Um. So how was uh what was the what was the game plans going into each one of these maps? What was the uh the idea of the comps? What what were we going? So into? we've been practicing. We've had the ram comp since last season. Uh, we, we haven't decided if it feels good or not. I think we might need to substitute that May out. I don't know how crucial the walls are. Uh, their May didn't wall very often, and I don't even think they played May on Kings. I, I don't believe they did, no. So I think I have uh, supporting evidence. <laughs> I think, I, I definitely did see the, um, the May wall coming out a handful of times and securing picks, but I didn't see that, that frequency. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, and also with how uh, all of the, with uh, Missouri taking those multiple different angles on each one of those maps, how was the... I wanted, I almost swapped <laughs> Monkey. I don't <laughs> think Monkey's good on Kings, but with all the different angles they took, I was like, I'm going to swap Monkey was the that next the... time I die. I was going to say, did you guys have any um, any plan to like try and take advantage of them being so split up? Uh so the, the first plan that we came up with was, I think it was Soldier and Lucio was going to run up top and chase out the Ash. And me and May and Bap were going to run down main. And I think we got the SIG off that when we did it for second point, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but they had everyone else besides the SIG up top, so they just ran through our Soldier <laughs> and Lucio and then came back for the rest of us. Yeah, and you guys did manage to survive a good handful of engagements, yeah. though. Um, with uh, Dupets coming in with Baptiste a lot of the times, coming in and saving uh, saving the team. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's pretty crazy plays. Uh trying to think of more stuff to ask you there was so much that happened through there was those there was a lot games. that happened um i just want to say how no, i've never felt our ball comp feel more irrelevant in my life really? that dive that monkey dive i wasn't even set up yet and i hear hey monkey's on me oh, i'm dead and i'm like i i haven't even got to point yet As a matter like, of I'm a second quarter yeah no i was wondering because we didn't um we saw that there wasn't much of a uh, swap. There was a very consistent, um, like, support comp. Uh, with It was uh, Baptiste and it was Lucio. Mm -hmm. um, it was really interesting uh, 
how come we didn't see the you know the the Moira or the uh, oh we did go Moron you did go Moira yeah, you yeah. did go Moira uh like the Moira or the um the Zen or the Brig you know keeping those like survivability options up um in the events of you being like dove on super hard what was the yeah so we're kind of just fiddling that with that in scrims right now because we're like okay what's what feels but you need the Lucio with the ram for sure right for sure. But then what do you do? Do you keep the BAP and have the nice lamp and the window and the good heels? Or do you go for Zen and just bars. run it down? That's true. Just straight down. And I'm pretty sure that with uh, Ramatra slow, the that damage effect still tacks yeah. on. Uh, so I just, I, that would have been crazy. But I'm not on varsity for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Thank you, Happy, for the wonderful interview. Thank you for interviewing me again. And uh, we'll catch you all on the flip side. I am Travis Lynn, coach of eSports here at Shawnee State University. I do teach video game design and I coach eSports classes, but I also help coach and facilitate the entire eSports program. Currently on Varsity, we have around 52 players on our roster. We support six different titles. They are League of Legends, Call of Duty, Hearthstone, Overwatch, Rocket League, and Smash Bros. We also support multiple teams at a club level, including Valorant and another Overwatch team, um, as well as allowing varsity players to play on some secondary lineups during our club program. So, Hi, my name is Anissa Peoples. I'm the coordinator of athletics media here at Shawnee State University. Um, I'm also an assistant with the esports team and I run their inclusion committee. I have a really cool and unique experience with esports. I was a member of the inaugural varsity team in fall of 2018. I was a uh, hitscan DPS player for the Overwatch team. After I left and finished my degree here, I got to come back as the assistant and um, start with just writing about the team and making sure we were promoted. And now I've kind of grown and taken a bigger role here at Shawnee State. My name is Gwendolyn Bowman. My gamer tag is Obama and I play Overwatch, well, Overwatch 2 now. I come from a really small town where opportunities like this don't really exist. A lot of people play games, but there's no competitive scene and there's nothing really to do with it competitively. And when I came here to Shawnee State, I saw that we had a competitive scene for Overwatch. I had been playing Overwatch for about a year then, so I joined our club team and I just instantly fell in love with the scene. My favorite part about competing here is, I'd say the teamwork that we put into it. There are times where we will play against people that are much better like mechanically skilled, but when it comes down to teamwork, they don't really work together as well as a team. Here at Shawnee State, the team is really like one tight knit group. My name is Thomas de Grau. I play for the Shawnee League team and I'm from the Netherlands. Shawnee has impacted me in multiple ways. Like I said, the school is very including. They accept everyone and everything. They do a lot of activities around school, which has me gotten into meeting new people and make new friends, especially like esports as well. Most of the guys I've never met before and after two, three weeks, they're like friends to me. As much as I wanted to be a high level competitor or an entertainer, um, helping others find their dream or find their passions is really what I like to do as a professor and as a coach, um, helping them elevate themselves to where they actually want to go or you know anything goals that they want to achieve. Seeing them do those things, if it's winning a game or passing a test or uh, getting through a class that they were struggling with, seeing there's the smiles on their faces when they go through those things is always the best part of it. I think it's important to have diversity in esports or in, in anything you do because um, I've lived in many different states in the United States and uh, I always learn something new when I'm introduced to a new culture. I'm, I grow as a person when I learn from different people's backgrounds, understanding their perspectives and where they come from and I want to make sure that everybody has that experience on the team as well. Um, that's a big part of college in any anyways is to make sure that you get to meet people from different cultures, different backgrounds, different perspectives and we can facilitate that in a group of people people that are wanting to excel and level up. So we want to make sure that we continue to do that. For you know people from marginalized communities, it's hard enough to be a gamer and coming into maybe a collegiate program where you're already under stress, you're already trying to focus on your academics, you want to make sure that you have somewhere you can go and just let loose and go into your flow state and feel comfortable. And any way we can make that better is important. I'd like to think that I 
empower people, especially as somebody who has been brought in, I want to empower people who may not have a voice outside of this space. And I want to make sure they know that they're heard and give them a platform if needed. People from different cultures, backgrounds, brings in more experience into a group which everyone can learn from. In my daily life, communication is very important and playing video games, I've learned that communication is key. So that's how it's impacted my life the most, I think. Gaming has changed my life because it's it's my number one hobby. It's just something that I always constantly like to do. It's something that makes me happy.